I don't even know what the point of this video is. Oh yeah, the whole point of this, the topic of the video is why am I such a dick in the comment sections on YouTube? So let's get back to the real topic of the video. Why am I such a dick in comments? It's closed. This is why you have to always check business hours before you actually travel to another city to go to Costco. Do I walk all the way back that way to take the subway and maybe take like another half hour to get to where I need to go? Or do I pay like five times the amount to take a taxi? Who are we kidding? There's no choice. I'm gonna take a taxi. I believe about two years ago, Xander and I did have a Costco membership. Except we didn't really go enough for it to be worth the annual fee, which is only $30 a year. So you can imagine how little we went for us to think that it wasn't really worth it. So I was actually supposed to go to Costco today with a friend. She was gonna pay for a new membership. So why not get myself some cheap booze? Kirkland booze, man, Kirkland booze. Hey, you know, bulk vegetables, I guess. I guess I need vegetables. Oh, and spices. Spices is what I really need. Oregano and thyme and all that jazz. The dried stuff. But since it's closed today, I'm just gonna hang out with her and play with the cat. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know what cat I'm talking about. And then I'll meet my other friend Cameron to do some shopping today. Hello, Nog. This place is such a... Oh my lord. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the natural, the natural uh, habitat of a, of a woman's room. Okay? Leave in the comments if your room is like this too. Fellas, if you go to her place and it's clean, she clean for you. You gon' get some. Hello, my precious. How have you been without daddy? Oh, that's right. You remember me. You're so small. Oh, are you gonna put your head in, head in my fist again? Like normal? No. Why are you so handsome now? Huh? Why are you wearing all these, all these clothes? You're so bougie. You're a bougie cat. You're cuter than I remember. You weren't always this cute. Is it just cause I miss you? <laughs> She's not a dirty cat anymore. <laughs> this is the difference between how women treat men that they see as friends and how women treat men that uh, they, they see as more than just friends. I've been told not to come over before because the room was dirty. That stuff never happens when you're just friends with a girl. But he's so happy on me right now. He doesn't want to go. He's <laughs> He doesn't want to go. He's gonna wipe his face. He's gonna wipe his face. Look, he's like leaning in me. He's like, Appa, protect me. My friend spent three hours making this. What is this again? Crab. Crab. <laughs> let me show you, let me show you. Oh, there's hair. There's hair on this potato. Focus. It's okay, it's not focusing, but there's hair on this potato. Look. Look, there's hair. You, see, you guys see this hair? It's not dirty, I wash my hair every day. It's still hair! <laughs> it's like I took a shower and if I plucked my butt hair, would you eat it? I mean, like, if it's sanitized. Potato, with the hair on it, but I'll still eat it because I eat everything. Oh, it's really cold. Is it over seasoned? It's like really seasoned, right? No, it's good. Really? For me, it's so salty. But maybe because it's so cold, I can't really taste it. Okay. So I might have to heat it up. Yeah. Even microwave, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna heat just this amount up in case it's bad. The sign of a real friend is that you don't pretend the food is good when it's actually bad. You tell them it's shit if it's shit. Oh, I, th I think that's enough. Ooh! Here goes nothing. Warm potato. Oh, this is actually really good. <laughs> yeah. It's not over seasoned at all. That was pretty good, but I'm also really hungry, so pretty sure almost everything tastes really good right now. But I didn't come here to eat potatoes. I came here to eat crab. Mmm. She's just standing off camera, just waiting. She's real nervous. <laughs> Much so. Really? That's enough of me eating. Let's talk about why I'm such a dick in the YouTube comments. But before we get to that, I think I'm into mood. Some Quakers. You're so lit right now. <laughs> I'm guessing Xanax and alcohol is not a good mix. You're so lit right now. I can't freaking hold myself up. You're so fucking lit. I told you not to. <laughs> 
You know what though? Like, life has been hard for Happy lately. Just a little bit stressed. So, uh, my good friend that I will not name, I will not. Maple and brown sugar. That's the one. Yeah, it's good. That's the best one. Yo, Quakers, this is not sponsored, but Quakers, maple and brown sugar. Leave a comment if this is your favorite oatmeal, if you like oatmeal. In fact, I, I actually f***ing hate oatmeal, but I will eat this like it, like like pussy. You can't post that. Yeah, I can. That's the whole point of my channel. I'm unfiltered. Your channel. Yeah, I, I don't even know if I'm ever going to do sponsorships on this video, on this channel. You open this so ugly? What do you mean? That's the way it's supposed to open. Oh, it's got okay. a little serrated edge. I thought you like opened it the wrong way. Like Quaker, maple and brown sugar. Oatmeal. This is the sh I used to hate oatmeal and I still hate oatmeal, but this is the only one that I'll eat. I don't even know what the point of this video is. Oh yeah, the whole point of this the topic of the video is why am I such a dick in the comment sections on YouTube? For some of you who don't know who I am and you're like, you got you only have like seventeen thousand followers, your videos have like two thousand views, and you look through the comments and they're all really nice. I appreciate that. That's because I'm really tiny right now on this channel. But I'm actually part of a YouTube duo called We Fancy, youtube.com underscore, not underscore, forward slash We Fancy. That's where all of the toxic comments come in. So let's talk about that for a second. But first, oatmeal time. But how do you even make oatmeal? Here, I'll do it. For easy preparation, use this packet as a measuring cup. The packet as a measuring cup, you're gonna put water in here? Simply use the two-third cup fill line on this packet to cold water or milk. Then you're gonna microwave it? No, I'm boiling water right now. No, no, it's supposed to be cold water or milk. No, I'm boiling And then you microwave it. No. High for two minutes, yo. Yo, 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 we gotta listen to the way the packet tells no. you to cook it, yo. Three hours later. Hey, hey, hey! This, everybody, is my friend Cameron. Right, we're going shoe shopping. Shoe shopping! This was a, a late night, not late night, a, late a, night? Late, a belated birthday present, belated, apparently. Very belated, because I've been out of the country, and you've been out of the country, right? I've been out of the country as well. Shit, if, can I think I can clamp it to this handle? Oh, uh, no, nope, I don't think so. That moves. But let's talk about friendship. You can really only call someone your friend when the only reason why you're with them is for the pure pleasure of the companionship. That's right. Not if you can gain something from them, not if there's money involved, not if there's business involved. Money. For example, Zan and I are friends, but we're more than just friends. We're business, business partners. partners. Exactly. Yeah. So when I introduce people, I don't say, hey, that's Xander, my friend. I say, hey, that's Xander, my YouTube partner, my business partner, right? As long as there's an ulterior motive to the relationship, it's it's different from just being pure friends. And there are very few of those. Cameron is one of them. Oh, that's sweet. The girl from before, that's one of them. This is what we do when we whip in Subway. Yeah. We play with Cam's butt. Yeah. How many stations away is it? Two? Dos. Dos. All sorts of people. Some, somebody just left a little coffee thingy. Littering, guys, littering. Welcome to Korea. So let's get back to the real topic of the video. Why am I such a dick in comments versus what I'm really like in real life? Because Sam, Cam, okay, I'm, I'm a little bit of a dick, but I'm not like a dick dick. But in terms of like me being a dick like I am on, on YouTube comments and stuff, it's a little bit different. Here's the thing. When you see me in person, you're a human being. You're going to treat me like a human being. You're going to respect me like a human being. YouTube comments, on the other hand, no. People have no respect on YouTube comments, so I'm not going to reciprocate yeah. with respect. That's just not how it works, because I did that in the beginning, kill them with kindness. Right. And I always thought that was a way to go, especially in, like when you work customer service, when you work at like right. stuff like that, right? Yes, you don't, yes, you don't you bitch out your customer. You have to. You just be like, yes sir, no sir, you're right, you know, things like that. And I wasn't faking it. I was, well, number one, yes, I was kind of faking it, but for a good reason. I thought it was the right thing to do. You know, I thought it was the right thing to do, kill them with kindness, it'll be less stressful for me that way. It's wrong. It is more stressful for me to be kind and to reply with good comments than it is for me to just be myself and sass the out of those people 
who I consider dumbasses. Because there's no real point to leave a negative comment. You're not gonna change the mind of the person making content. That's not how it works. Positive comments on the other hand are very different. Why? Because positive comments are constructive. When you're, when you're leaving a positive comment, it means that the person has impacted you enough, you want to encourage them to continue doing the work that they do. What the hell does a negative comment do? Unless it's constructive, which is different, we're not talking about that's those. still a very respectful comment. It has to be respectful. Exactly. But if you're just like, this sucks, or you're yeah. or you're ugly, yeah. why would you put the time that it takes for you to write that comment, why don't you just move to another video? At that point, they're just trying to make you upset. Exactly. I really don't have any more patience anymore and kill them with kindness. Sometimes it has worked and a lot of times it doesn't because what happens is it validates their behavior. It tells them that it is okay for them to act like Neanderthals because the content creators will be nice to them no either way. This is especially the case with airlines or really big companies who only give people who complain perks. Right. Right? Yeah. Actually, I had that experience. There you go. What happened? Uh, I was trapped in Peru because of the, the hurricane shut down all of Houston's airport, flooded okay. it. So I couldn't fly through Houston and they told me that I would have to wait about a week for a new flight. I had to call six or seven times and I was on the phone for seven hours and finally I just complained and I told them I was going to take my business elsewhere and that's when I got results. They just transferred me to a new flight right away. But being polite did nothing. No, and that's the biggest problem right now. Companies do not reward good behavior, they reward bad behavior, which encourages more people to complain, to be difficult customers. But I guess in terms of math, most people aren't dicks. Most, most people yeah. are not gonna complain because we're taught from a very young age not to. Be nice, be accommodating. That's the way my mother taught me and all that kind of stuff, but here's the thing. I have an aunt, when I became an adult, I realized that her way of dealing with life is actually the correct way. You have to be difficult sometimes to get what you want. And same way with the YouTube comments, for me to be difficult back to difficult commenters, that tells them that I won't put up with their sh**. Am I wrong? Put it in the comments. This here is $18 for 100 grams. But I guess if you want to eat quality, you gotta pay up.